It's the return of the 8-bit consoles, synthwave tunes, and everything cyberpunk dystopia. So dust off your Nintendo, crank up your cassette player, and make sure you record the latest episode of The Running Man. It's the Funkhauser Diecast Racing League, and this is the finals of the 80s Stock Car Tournament. Welcome back to the old Yakin Valley Speedway. I'm your host, Funkhauser, as we get set for the 80s Stock Car Tournament Finals. 16 legendary stock cars entered this tournament, but now we are down to the final four to see who will be crowned the top gun of the 1980s. I'm bringing you down to the pit garage area to reintroduce you to these final four drivers who fought hard to get into the final round. Starting us off, we have Luke Showstopper in his number three 1988 Chevrolet Monte Carlo. Up next behind him, we have Bo Black in the number 21 1989 Ford Thunderbird. Right up after him, we've got Wild Willie Williams in his number 10, 1980 Dodge Miranda. And then bringing up the rear, we've got Nick Schultz in the 1989 Buick Regal. The tournament finals will be decided by a total of eight races, with the starting order of the first four races being determined by the total points accumulated from the first and semifinal rounds. After the first four races, the field will be completely inverted from where they started, as race one is now underway. As we go down the backstretch, Luke shows Stopper starts us off with a nice lead as he heads into turn two through the chicane. Bo Black slowly starting to catch up to them, but can they even catch up to him? No, Luke Showstopper says, I'm going to be taking this one alone as Bo Black comes in second and Willie Williams comes in third. Looks like Nick Schultz had a little bit of an issue. He would not make it to the line. Looks like he got stuck in turn three. Let's check out the replay cam and find out exactly what happened. As we look at the replay here, Luke Showstopper and Bo Black into the turn, no problem. It looks like Nick Schultz tries to make a pass underneath Willie Williams, but Willie Williams says, heck no, shuts him down and throws him into the tire barrier. A tough break for Nick Schultz. After that performance right out of the gate, Luke Showstopper is going to be leading us with five points, and Bo Black's going to be on his heels in second place. Willie Williams trailing behind them just by two points with three, and Nick Schultz is going to have to work hard to get back to it. Let's see what we can do in here race two. Down the back stretch, Bo Black's going to be leading him into turn one with Nick Schultz right on his heels. We enter into turn two. Nick Schultz takes the lead from him as we go into the third three. Can Bo Black catch back up to them? They're fighting for it. They're touching. Can Bo Black take it from them? No! Nick Schultz is going to win this race with Bo Black right behind him. But it looks like Willie Williams and Luke Showstopper didn't make it back to the line. They get caught up right before turn three. Let's figure out what happened to those two. Exiting the chicane, Willie Williams seems to be alone, but Luke Showstopper tries to make a pass underneath him, and Willie Williams cuts him off, but unfortunately they get entangled. The momentum comes to a halt just before the entrance of turn three, an unfortunate event for both drivers. Back at the leaderboard, Bo Black is now your leader with eight points, and looks like Nick Schultz is right back into this race. He is tied for second place with Luke Showstopper, who both have five points, and Willie Williams is there with three. Let's see how things are going to go here in race three. Down the back stretch, Nick Schultz says, it's my time to shine as he takes the lead through turn one as we head into turn two. Willie Williams takes the lead from him, heading into the game, but Nick Schultz takes the lead right back from him. They're all fighting for position. Can Willie Williams catch up to Nick Schultz and make the pass? No, Nick Schultz is going to win. Willie Williams is going to come in second. Bo Black in third, and Luke Showstopper comes in fourth. It is all a new race now as Bo Black still holds on to that lead, but it's only one point. Right behind him is Nick Schultz, and tied for third place is Luke Showstopper and Wild Willie Williams. What do we have in store here as race four is now underway? Down the back stretch, Luke Showstopper has a slight lead with Willie Williams right on his tail. It's, oh, Luke Showstopper just takes off like a rocket down through the chicane into turn three. Does anybody have anything for Luke Showstopper? He's going to be all alone heading to the line. Luke Showstopper comes in first, Bo Black second, Willie Williams third, and Nick Schultz coming in fourth. After four of the first eight races, Bo Black's going to be leading us with 15 points. Right behind him is going to be Luke Showstopper and Nick Schultz tied for second place with 12 points. And William Williams is going to be in there with 10. Down here in pit lane, the crews are working hard to get the cars tuned and ready for the next set of races as we get all ready for races five through eight. I'm standing here with Bo Black in the pit stall as he is the only driver who's been consistent with zero DNS. Hey, he's got the commanding points of 15 as we go into the next round of racing. Let's see who's going to win the 80s Stock Car Tournament. We are now ready for races 5 through 8.
As we said just prior to race one, the field has been completely inverted from its starting positions. This is going to give Nick Schultz and Willie Williams their time to shine as they're going to be leading us off here in race five. Down the back stretch, Nick Schultz has a nice lead over the other drivers. We enter in the turn one. Here comes Bo Black on his back bumper. And William Williams tries to make a pass through the chicane, but he can't make it. Bo Black takes advantage. They're all fighting for a position. William Williams takes the second place position again. As whoa, what a finish. Nick Schultz is going to win. William Williams in second with Bo Black in third and Luke Showstopper coming in fourth. We have got to check out the replay and check out that dogfight for the second place position. Coming out of the chicane, Nick Schultz has a slight lead over Willie Williams, and Bo Black takes some contact. He takes some momentum away. Luke Showstopper tries to make a pass underneath Willie Williams, but Willie Williams shuts him down. Bo Black still hanging on to that second place position as Nick Schultz and Willie Williams are fighting for it, but Willie Williams makes a nice pass underneath. And as we look at the leaderboard, Bo Black still leading us with 18 points, but Nick Schultz is right there with 17. Willie Williams and Luke Showstopper are going to be fighting for third place for 14. We are still tight in the point system as we head into race six. Now the back stretch, Luke Showstopper is going to be leading him into turn one with Willie Williams on his tail, but Luke Showstopper takes off like a rocket ship through the chicane. He says bye-bye as he enters the super stretch into turn four through the home stretch. He's going to win first with Willie Williams in second, Nick Schultz third, and Bo Black in fourth. Two points, that's right, only two points separate first place from last place as Nick Schultz and Bo Black are tied for first with Luke Showstopper right there, one point behind them, and Willie Williams only two points behind. Let's see what race seven has in store. Luke Showstopper with the advantage of that inside lane. He takes the lead through turn one as Bo Black tries to catch up to him in turn two through the chicane. Bo Black slowly catching up to him, but can he get there? Nope. Luke Showstopper once again is going to take the win. Bo Black coming in second. It looks like Willie Williams and Nick Schultz got into it. Nick Schultz is going to limp across the line. Let's take a look and see what happened to Willie Williams. Looks like we have another unfortunate victim of turn three as it looks like Willie Williams has come to a stop in the middle of the turn. Let's take a look at the replay and figure out exactly what happened. Luke Showstopper with that commanding lead enters turn three with Bo Black right behind him. It looks like Willie Williams just tries to make a pass underneath Nick Schultz, but Nick Schultz says, nah, buddy, I remember what you did in race one. As they get together, Willie Williams loses all of his momentum, almost taking Nick Schultz with him, but Nick Schultz is just barely able to make it back to the line. This is it, ladies and gentlemen, race eight, and we have a tie for first place between Luke Showstopper and Bo Black, but don't count Nick Schultz out. He's only one point behind them with 23, and he's in the front row. Let's see what race eight has in store as we are now underway. Down to back stretch, it's Nick Schultz and Bo Black as Bo Black takes a lead through turn one with Luke Showstopper right behind him in a turn two through the chicane. Here comes Luke Showstopper. He gives a bump and run, makes a pass underneath. Luke Showstopper makes the pass. He's going to be our winner of the 80 Stock Car Tournament. Holy cow, we have got to check out that replay. In through the chicane, Bo Black gets a little bit loose, and Luke Showstopper takes advantage of it. He gives Bo Black a bump, makes a run pass right up underneath him as they enter in a turn three, and Bo Black is going to be left behind. Another great angle from turn three. You can see Luke Showstopper just takes that nice clean pass underneath Bo Black as he goes on for the win. At the end of eight races, our final tally, Luke Showstopper with 29 points, Bo Black with 28, Nick Schultz with 26, and Willie Williams with 20. From Victory Lane, with a total accumulated points of 62 and a combined eight wins, your winner of the 80th Stock Car Tournament, Luke Showstopper! 16 legendary stock cars from the 1980s entered this tournament, but only one could come out on top as the top gun, and that was Luke Showstopper. We hope you guys have enjoyed the excitement here at the old Yakin Valley Speedway, and if you did, please remember to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell to stay up with all the updates here at the Funkhauser Diecast Racing League, home to the Winston-Salem Racing Series, and the old Yakin Valley Speedway. Stay tuned, for more racing action is coming your way. You've been watching the Funkhauser Diecast Racing League. Stay tuned for more racing action.